So they're walking in, making their way around the first fence on the starting chute. All clear is given, and they're off for the grade one. Turner's novices chase over two and a half miles and quite a short run to the first of the 16 fences. And stage star is the first to begin. He was big at the first fence. A mistake on the outside by James de Burley, who rather landed in a bit of a heap. He's at the moment racing in fourth position. Didn't lose a great deal of ground in the very early stages. They take fence number two. Stage star. Leads there by a couple of lengths. They're all safely over to Balco Coastal, who races in second. Towards the inside, not long till May, is in third. James de Burley was much better over fence two than he was over the first, but he's a little bit keen racing up on the outside of Mighty Potter, who also is just slightly over racing, but nothing too drastic in the early stages. Davy Russell attempting, however, to get a bit of cover inside rail position for him. Then there's a break of around about two lengths, back to appreciate it and the grey. An expected party is the back marker. So they made the descent into the home straight. Four fences now as they come up towards the enclosures. Fence three for stage start. Leads by about two and a half lengths. Skips over it to Balco Coastal, who is over in second, not long till May in third. Mighty Potter has now inherited fourth, relegating James de Burley to fifth, then appreciate it. The leader was very good over that. The leader is stage star. So he's racing on now towards the last two fences in the home straight. Stage star, unhurried, leads by about three lengths. He's not getting any pressure on the lead at the moment to uh, in second place now on the outside, not long till May. Balco Coastal now relegated to third as they go over the third fence taken down the home straight. Next was James de Burley racing upon the outside of Mighty Potter and then appreciate it and finally unexpected party. This will be the final fence in a circuit's time. And once again, all safely over. If you're gonna crab Mighty Potter, he just slightly dived at that, but nothing too serious. And at the moment, He's racing in fourth position. He's only four lengths off the leader as they race now uphill towards the back straight. In the grade one, Turner's Novices Chase, the opener on day three of the festival. Stage star and Harry Cobden lead the way to not long till May and Adam Wedge in second place. Two and a half lengths back to Balco Coastal and Nico de Boinville in third position. Mighty Potter, the favorite, Davy Russell in fourth. James de Burley out wide with Daryl Jacob in fifth place as they take the slightly downhill fence. Appreciate it, Paul Townend last but one, and Harry Skelton, an expected party, still the back markers. And they're now racing a good 10 lengths off this leader who goes towards the water. Stage star has made every yard of the first half of the contest as they go over the water jump. They all jump it well. Closing up now in second, not long till May, racing up on the outside. And then there's a break of a couple of lengths back to Balco Coastal. And this is an open ditch. And again, all safely over. And once again, stage star, the leader, was very quick very nimble, doesn't waste any time in the air as he goes now towards the next one. And again, he jumps it really well. Stage star out in front. At the back of the field, appreciate it. It wasn't quite as clever as one or two of the others. Now they take the dog leg turn, which carries them now on towards fence number 11, which will be the last of the open ditches. Stage star leads by about two and a half lengths, reaching for it in second place, not long till May. Then a line of three, Balco Coastal on the inside of Mighty Potter and still wide is James de Burley. A break then of a further two and a half lengths to appreciate it and as they go over fence number 12 still the back marker is unexpected party so about to swing the turn at the top of the hill next one they take will be the fourth from home in the turner's novices chase and stage star still leads the way that advantage just over two lengths to not long till may who will jump in second position this time the leader not quite as clever but stage star still has the lead but they're bunching up now snapping away at his heels not long till may racing in second place. Balco Coastal to the inside is just in third. Wide is James de Burley and still covered up is Mighty Potter in a very close fit. This is the third from home and it is still Stage Star who has got the advantage on the long run now down into the home straight with another two fences to take. Now, not long till May, begins to lay it down to Stage Star. Then in third, James de Burley cutting to the inside. Mighty Potter is in fourth and now ridden by Davy Russell. They're racing down towards the second last. 
not long till May. On the inside, Stage Star trying to come back, appreciate it, smuggled into the race by Paul Townend, staying on now in third and has every chance. He just cuts across in front of Jason Burley and then Mighty Potter, who is struggling to try and pick up the final fence. Stage Star jumps his way back into the lead, not long till May towards the near side, appreciate it. On the wide outside, Mighty Potter tries to stay on, but it's Stage Star who is out in front for Harry Cobden and for Paul Nichols, and Stage Star has won the Turners in second, not long till May. Tight for third between, on the far side, appreciate it, and on the near side, Mighty Potter. Paul Nichols is absolutely exhilarated by that victory of Stage Star in the Turners, and an exquisite ride from Harry Cobden there. Fantastic ride then. Um, just gave me a little breather turning in. I just said, go out today, make all. If you're good enough, you'll just keep galloping. And oh, he's brilliant. He quickened all the way up the hill. So absolutely thrilled with that performance. He was jumping really well, yeah. and Harry didn't panic, of course, when he was pressed. Oh, he was brilliant. I mean, the whole thing today, riding from the front, make plenty of use of him. It was superb. And, you know, I've been dreaming he might be a Ryan Air Horse for next season. He had to do that today to do that. So, you know, we got something to look forward to. Must be very satisfying for you because you must have been thinking, is this going to go the wrong way, this this festival? You know, with, with Greta Teen making yeah. that mistake and Time White know, as well yesterday. It was frustrating yesterday, but I think the ground's better on this track. It will suit all of ours, to be honest with you, a bit more than yesterday. But, yeah, it's a tough here in the last few days. It didn't quite go to plan, but that was brilliant. And someone who is as competitive yeah. as you doesn't want to not be in the winners' enclosure at the Cheltenham Festival. Absolutely not. It was a tough day yesterday. And, um, but yeah, it's, it's tough racing. It's hard to win, but that was just good to have a nice young horse. He's come from his bumpers all the way through the system. And do that was fantastic. Well, many congratulations. Well much. done. Harry Cobden and I were just chatting that we're going to be talking in happier circumstances, at least than yesterday, after that marvellous ride to win the Turner's Novices Chase with Stage Star. Congratulations. You've had to pick yourself up overnight and deliver that. Yeah, I know. It was amazing, isn't it? Um, full credit to the horse. Uh, you know, I was thinking about the race from probably last night on the way home of what I was going to do on this lad today, and it all worked out perfectly anyway. And was it exactly as you'd hoped it would be? Yeah, I just like, I wanted to be quick over the first couple and just get out in front and try and make it my own race from there, really, and um, managed to get a few breathers in on the way around. He's jumped very well, got over the third last, turned in, saw Adam Wedge come up, size me on um, the Morgan horse, and... Um, yeah, I managed to sit a little bit to the second last and then he's come up my hands at the last and the rest is history, I suppose. Fantastic. I mean, it's just a, a really mature performance from the horse and he really seemed to come of age when he ran here in January. Yeah, very good. And he's actually, he, 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 um, he, he hangs left, you see. Yeah. So, um, like on the way around, he's, he's hung since the flag's dropped down, but he's one of them where you just try to not pick up the right rein because once, well, once you start picking that right rein up to keep him straight, you're in a constant battle then and um, I don't know it's just it's, it's all happened perfectly and it's all gone very very as well as I thought anyway. You make it look very easy because I remember you saying you know it's probably not obvious but particularly at Newbury that was in evidence wasn't it his hanging? Yeah well, he did just you know around here you've got the odd wing or the rail to just lean on and let him not gallop into it but use it as sort of a marker rather than you sort of tugging off his mouth. Mm. Um, once you start doing that, you're in a battle from then on, aren't you? And, and then there's curtains, so I um, <laughs> uh, just, yeah, it's all gone very well. And Paul was talking about seeing him as, as a Ryanair horse. Is that the kind of thing that you w would like to hear? I'd say he'll come back next year and have a go at that race. I think he'll get further as well. Mm. If he didn't hang as bad, I'd say he'd be a Ladbroke Trophy horse, but um, he's very hot, so I don't know if like a 24 runner handicap where he might not have it his own way, it would be up his street. Mm. He might just be a little graded seven or eight runner horse where he could buck out, go a gallop early and uh, just a lot gets to him, you know, he's quite, um, he's quite, I suppose he's a little bit fragile in the mind, but he wasn't here today, was not he? Not at all, not, not at all. Your third festival winner and looking back on yesterday, were you starting to get quite frustrated? Well, I suppose, I mean, I, I've, I've had a four year drought, haven't I? But I mean, I say to myself every time I haven't let one go, there's nothing that I've ridden here that I thought should have won or could have won. Um, it's just the simple fact that I don't think I've been on a good enough horse. Um, so, I mean, the good ones are hard to get hold of, aren't they? And when Willie Mullins brings 80 here, <laughs> and Gordon probably has 70, uh, and 
Paul's a sort of leading trainer in this country and we're coming with, with 10 to 15. It's a bit demoralising, isn't it? But um, like the good days like this, when it, when it pulls up, it's uh, the most unbelievable. Yeah, it's a sign of mental strength, isn't it, to be able to cogitate what you've done previously and, and just look forward, which is exactly what you did. All power to you for the rest of the festival. Congratulations, Harry. Thank you so much. Thank Thanks. You. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.